Our next speaker is Richard Kirshner, who is the Director of Preservation and Conservation at the Shelburne Museum in Vermont. He holds a Master's and Certificate of Advanced Study in Conservation from the Cooperstown Graduate Program and is a Fellow of AIC and a Council Member of the IIC. Mr. Kirshner actively participates in conservation outreach actions to museum professionals and teaches preventive conservation workshops. In 2004, he researched and developed a safe, attractive, and efficient LED in-case museum lighting system and has used over 1,500 retrofit LEDs to light Shelburne's exhibits for the past two years. He is presently managing the design and installation of an in-ground fiber optic communications network to carry telephone, fire, security, environmental control, and high-speed internet signals between all 40 museum buildings. Richard. We've been looking at LEDs since uh, 2004. When I first saw one at an AIC conference, it was at an exhibitor that was doing plexiglass cases. It was just sitting on top. He said, pick it up and hit it on the side of the case. And it was quite beautiful. As soon as I saw it, I said, I want these. And we mainly wanted them for, for our dollhouses, because we were displaying about 300 dolls inside cases. They're cool. It sounded like the ideal light system. We worked with a manufacturer called uh, Proloom out of uh, Connecticut. And I do mention him because he's done a lot to develop uh, these type of LEDs. And he picked a, a chip from a company called Bright in, uh, in Taiwan. And that was a misnomer, because within two years of putting it in, uh, it had lost 75% of its luminance. And so it just dropped dramatically. And uh, so my job, I thought, was on the line at that point. But fortunately, I had uh, negotiated a good warranty. At the time, they didn't know how long to warranty LEDs, so they gave me a 10 to 15 year warranty, <laughs> so, which was a mistake for them, although they've, they've stuck by it and uh, replaced $30,000 worth of LEDs in our dollhouses with a, a chip called Nietzsche. And Nietzsche is a very good chip, and it's been working very well. And so we used the Nietzsche chip when we did our toy shop in uh, 2000 and 2006, 2007. And uh, they, were, they were a bit uh, cool, but with the yellow background paint, it didn't matter. We've been very happy with them. Moved on to our miniature interiors in 2008, and the niche ship is, is holding up very well. So we've been monitoring. Uh, they might be losing a, a little bit of, uh, of in their intensity, their, their full lighting capability, but overall we're pleased with them. Uh, so each, each year when I'd uh, go to AIC or talk to LED manufacturers, I'd try to get hold of an MR16 LED. And I bring it back and I put it up in my lab next to uh, MR16 halogen. And when we first started, this was in 2006 or so, you just laugh at it. You know, it was way too dim. It was a wrong color temperature. They weren't consistent. Uh, but over the years, uh, 2008, 2000, they started getting better and better. And by 2010, they were looking pretty good. And that was good because our efficiency Vermont, which is our efficiency utility in Vermont, came to us, we're targeted by them because we're one of the larger power users in our area. And they came to us in October and said, uh, we'd like to push some LEDs, some retrofit LEDs. And so if you'll, uh, if you'll try them, we'll pay for them. And we thought, wow, that sounds pretty good. And my electrician was already just go out and buy the one that his local representative said from Sylvania or Phillips or whatever said, here it is. I said, no, 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 we gotta wait. And I spent the next two months evaluating a large number of LEDs screening many, uh, getting about eight different ones into tests, both PAR 30s and PAR 20s and MR 16s. And we ended up selecting a Sylvania PAR 20 and PAR 30 for our gallery settings. And we put in about 650 of those. In the first year, we lost 10 that just went out. They're completely replaced under the warranties. No problem, just send them back to Sylvania. Although you do have to read the warranties carefully, because if you try to do that after four or five years, you only get a portion of the, of the price back. So make sure you do where, read the warranties. Uh, we chose 3,000 degree Kelvin. Uh, there's also 2,700 uh, that look pretty good. 
We put them up side by side with our halogens. We put them in two white galleries side by side, brought our director and curators in. They looked at the, the both galleries and one with the 3,000 LEDs, or the uh, director said to us, did you guys repaint the white walls in here? And we said, no, that's, that's what they actually look like under halogen, the, the yellow. So we like the, we like the 3,000 because it brings out the blues quite a bit. Uh, we have, the only place we've used the 2700s is to light the ceilings of our barns. We like to expose the wood and light up the wood and to show the architecture. And when you're trying to light something that's, that's kind of a, a yellowish color or a yellowish red, it really under 3000 looked kind of ghostly. So the 2700 was not a lot nicer. So you do have to pick and choose and, and put it toward the situation you're using. Uh, we went to our historic houses. That's where the MR16s are used. Uh, the height of these ceilings is probably only about eight feet, so we have to make sure we use flood lamps. Uh, but we put in about six or seven hundred in our various historic buildings. And overall, we're saving about six thousand dollars a year. Uh, the maintenance, uh, we're saving the maintenance costs, of course, and some HVAC savings. And we essentially got fifty thousand dollars worth of LED lights for free. So our payback was even better than Brian's. <laughs> Our payback was immediate. We had nothing to lose on it. Uh, now what we're looking at is we're getting ready to open a new building in June. And it's two large galleries that we've never had before for changing exhibits. And uh, we're going to buy about 200 LED fixtures. And we're, evalu we're evaluating different fixtures. And mainly we're looking at whether to buy uh, the dedicated LED luminaires, such as uh, Zycato uh, that the LSI puts out, or whether we go with the uh, retrofit LEDs. And there's disadvantages and advantages to both of them. The initial disadvantage to the dedicated is they're quite expensive. And so there can be some savings, some significant savings, by going with the retrofit. But the problem with the retrofit is now what we're seeing, uh, that they're starting to shift a bit. And there's less of a chance, not that the, the dedicated won't shift, but they'll probably shift left less and will be more controlled. So that's kind of why I'm here, to decide what to go back and test over the next few weeks and, and order within the next few months to put into our new building. Uh, and uh, one of our presenters said some good advice is not to go with just one LED throughout your whole building. And that's, we, we have not gone with one. We've started with these, the Bright, and then went to the Nietzsche when we found a Bright with no good. Uh, we also use Philips, we also use Sylvania. And now we're looking at uh, possibly Psychato, Cree. There's some various different ones. So don't, don't put all your eggs in one basket. <laughs>